Praise the Lord, saints. Good afternoon. My assignment for today is coming from John, St. John 14, 27. And it reads as this, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world give, it, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. In this particular chapter of John, God wants to prepare his disciples for his departure and his separation from them. They have been together ever since the beginning. So this has really created anxiety in them because they really had not expected for him to just leave them so abruptly. But he's also assuring them that there is not a reason for them to be frustrated or afraid, aggravated or peaceless. Jesus didn't want their hearts to be troubled. You've trusted God, now trust me. The Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. So once again, he is assuring them that he is going to leave peace with them so there won't be any reason for them to wonder, have anxiety, or be afraid. He tells them once again, peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Jesus reinforced his disciples that he is the truth and the life, the only means to God, and because they had known him and seen him, they have also seen the Father. Have you ever been frustrated, maybe aggravated? I have. And there are multiple things that can cause you to feel this way. Have you often been frustrated or aggravated? I know I've felt this way many times, but I've learned that we can come to a point in our lives where we don't experience being aggravated and frustrated every day. In fact, Aggravated and frustrated is not the condition God wants us to live in. Let me show you what I mean. In John 14, 27, he's explaining to us his peace, the peace that he'll leave, the peace that will take you far beyond any circumstance. Now there's a worldly peace we have when everything is going our way. But the peace Jesus gives us is totally different quality of peace than the world gives. It's a peace that passes our understanding. It makes us peaceful when all natural reasoning says we should be upset. We can make the decision to stop allowing ourselves to get upset, aggravated, and frustrated. Although we may think I can't. But according to Jesus, we can help it. He offers us peace that can keep us from getting this way. It is important for us to realize that we have a responsibility to not let our hearts be troubled or afraid. We will never break loose from anything we're struggling with until we take personal responsibility where we are now. Most people just want to blame someone or something else for their problems. A bad childhood, their lack of education, their nationality, their personality, and make excuses for the way they are. But we can't let the things from our past or present become an excuse to stay there. Believe me, I know. I learned that I had to take responsibility for my actions if my life would ever be different than what I experienced throughout my childhood. I remember when I realized that living with frustration, ag aggravation, and worry really just did 
me no did me no good at all. All I ever got from being this way was a headache, a backache, a grouchy attitude, and a regret for saying and doing things I should have never said or done. As I began to take responsibility and say, God will help me to do something about this if I really want him to, things began to change. It was easy and it didn't happen overnight, but as I trusted God more and more to help me and then made right choices to act like Christ instead of the way I felt like acting when I was upset or didn't get my way, I changed. I learned to live with the peace of Jesus. And you can too. We can have anything God says we can have. He is of no respect of persons. The promises of God are for whosoever will. We're all whosoever's, but not all of us are willing to do what we are to do to inherit the promises of God. We may be willing to hear the truth, but are we willing to do what it says? I want to challenge you to decide right now to be determined and persistent in seeking God and being obedient to what he's telling you to do. Our enemy, the devil, is persistent and will do whatever he can to wear us out and keep us from God's will. But we need to have the same tenacity in Christ to never give up by God's grace and make him sorry he ever bothered us. Remember, as a born-again Christian, you are full of the spirit of the living God who makes us more than conquerors. We should plan ahead to stay peaceful during trials. Everything is not going to be our way all the time. And when it doesn't, we can be prepared to stay in peace in the midst of it all. Let your confession be. With God's help, I don't have to be aggravated or frustrated. I can stay calm and hold my peace. The ability to display stability and remain calm in troubled times can be one of our greatest testimonies to a troubled world. Furthermore, Romans 8 and 6 states that to be spiritually minded in life and peace, we are not alone in this task as the Holy Spirit dwells within us. And he will help us as long as we rely on him rather than our own strength. Living in peace is hard, but it can be accomplished in Christ. As we go about our lives, let us strive for peace by, desir by desiring in everything we do.